All right, guys, welcome back to more FIFA 08. Today, we are going to start by doing some staff upgrades. We're going to upgrade the goalkeeper coach to 10 in this one. That is going to leave us with just 833,000 uh, euros left. Um, but that's okay. If the PK deal comes through, we can just leave it there and then the money will build back up eventually or whatever. So, you know, that that's good enough for me. And, yeah, let's do that because... Uh, I don't know, we, we can't get much better than that if we upgrade everything to a 10, can we? So we're going to do that. We've got the PK deal still on uh, and submitted. And uh, we're going to go to the first game against Valadolid, which ends off January. Wish us luck. And here we are. So yes, we have uh, got Sevilla coming up in this episode. So that will probably more than likely be the full game. Uh, we've had to change one or two things around um, because we had the midweek game uh, in the cup and yeah so we've got uh, Pity on the right of midfield and we've got Mata on the left of the free at front because uh, Martins needed to be taken out and um, we got Real Morales in the middle because Silva needed a rest and yeah that's it and uh, obviously Pity's in there because of Wacky needed a rest so that's pretty much it today and yeah i'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that we're going to be getting january over with so we can just focus on other stuff uh, from now on but like i said i feel i feel like we've got to better <laughs> we've got to better what we achieved in the um first half of the sea oh first half of the season like we got what was it 35 points in the uh, first opening games so we could we could do to get at least 40 I think we'd probably need like 80 points to secure the title. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, but whether or not we get that is, an, is another question, guys. It's another other question. Oh, good chance that. We had a lot of men forward. Matters chance. And it will be a corner to Valencia. Here's Vicente. Vicente, here's Real Morella. Oh, still a chance yet. Here's Lennon. Lennon. It's Real Morales. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do here. It's Bodmer. Frankie, how many men have they got forward here? When he tried to cross it. It's pity. It's pity with an opportunity. Unbelievable. Oh, not far off. Matter again. Oh, good save that. I tell you, there's been nothing to report on in this game, hardly at all. It's it's not looking good. Back out here. And it's away again. Well, the pass has found its man. Oh, oh, Lennon, you dodgy mother, honestly. <laughs> you really are. Finally, we need some luck like that, though. So I feel like he's the only one who gets us out, gets our goals these days, honestly. He's lucky enough to get that one. David Villa. Oh! Oh! What? What? Villa. Oh! Oh! Come on, dude. Can't believe this. I mean, I, it looks like we're going to win. Hopefully, we're going to win. Jeez. But. <laughs> Um, it's been another dodgy game, to say the least. Uh, offside, uh, whatever. It just sums up the day, really. Matter has been pretty unlucky. He's had a couple of chances, an offside there. You know what? If the score is one to us and zero to them, come ninety minutes, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Oh. Please, I, I don't want to speak too soon, like, but <laughs> here's Lennon, Matter. 
It's for centre. That's not a bad ball, that, actually. Pitts. It's Pitts. Oh, oh, that was a really good chance there. Not bad. Good work by Pitts there. I think when you've got those, like, when I was talking about, like, four in the midfield and three up front, you, they can sort of overlap and it's pretty good and you've still got the three at the back to, to cover you, but it's not always been the case this season. <laughs> or even last. Oh, that pass didn't go through. Again, just unlucky with the final, like, touches, you know, and the, and the final passing. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to get away with that, but st still, we, 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 we can't rely on luck all the time. Wee, so we got peak here, but we've got a shitload of email here. Uh, good publicity for Bodmer, Lennon and um, Via, was it? So yeah, they're in the uh, team of the month there. Nice one. Uh, Bod is delighted with the progress. What are you doing? Uh, we expected you to upgrade our stadium manager. Uh, I don't remember when you asked me that, <laughs> honestly. But the, the stadium manager, you need 25 million to upgrade. Screw that. I'd rather buy like Danny Alves and all that lot, you know. Um, yeah, that was the top transfer, actually. 18 mil from um, Sevilla to Valencia. Alexis from um, Valencia to Liverpool, 17. Oh, wait, we spent 18 on Alves. I thought we spent 16. Oh, okay. Whatever. Didn't we put in 16 point five or something for I don't remember yeah uh, Rubinho from uh, Real Madrid to Sevilla uh, was 16 mil um, Hunt uh, from Rear de Bremen to Fulham was 15 million and Martins from Newcastle to Valencia 14 million so uh, we're, we're, we're in there quite a bit there and somebody wants to buy Schmeichel and <laughs> not a chance because we've just well first of all we've just signed him we don't have another goalkeeper other than Canazares if we got rid of him. So we'd only literally have one goalkeeper to the rest of the season. And they've only offered like less than halfway his market value is. So absolutely no chance in that. Now I'm a little bit confused. Joaquin has got an injury apparently. But I don't understand where that injury has come from. Because he didn't even play the last game. Pity played the last game in his position. And he wasn't injured before the last game kicked off. He he pretty much didn't even play the last game. So I don't understand where that injury has actually come from. Um, that's really strange. I've never seen that before happen. Um, I don't know if we can see. He's got a groin strain. He's going to be out for seven days. Uh, okay then. Um, I just guess we're just going to have to rotate until he is fully fit again. That's a uh, bit of a blur, that, to be honest, with uh, the the, uh, the games against um, Messina in Europe and uh, Sevilla coming up. All right, so here we are then, and you're about to see the team we've put out for this one, changing it completely up and uh, to rest for the uh, Sevilla game coming up soon. So hopefully our B team here <laughs> might be good enough. The back three... Is going to be uh, PK um, Silvestre, who's making his debut. He's only on loan, though, don't forget. And uh, who's the other guy? It is, drum roll, please, game. Oh, yeah, Raul Albiol, that's it. So Ed Milson, Albelda, Ramarell is on the right. We got uh, Gonzalez on the left. We got um, Silva. He's going to be playing on the left of the three up front, but he might come off at some point for Martins because, I don't know, it was, get, it was getting a bit tight for selection and so I figured Silver can go there and then maybe he could maybe come off at like half time or something for Martins I don't know it depends what happens really um Avia up front because he's always fit anyway and on the right side I think we got Mata as well so that's pretty much the uh, the team today guys and uh, we're gonna get out there and see if we can do some damage we've got a we're playing away so we could do with uh, the away goal to start with that would be kind of nice. That's kept out there. Bring it on. Oh, yeah, and uh, Kasper Schmeichel is in goal. So I'm going to see how he goes to death. So, yeah. Ball into the box. Kept out. Chance there. Not be many in this one. But that was one. Let's go for the corner. Silva's put it in. Ah, oh, it's gone through everyone. Here's Edmilson, and he's shot his way off target. Oh my 
my god. Pass. Good combination play. And halted by the defense. Oh no, no, I don't believe it. We've done it yet again. We're letting men through and we really cannot afford to do so. It feels like every time the computer gets one on one though, they always just seem to score though. That's the thing. And it's like, why is it they score? But every chance I have in that sort of situation, I can never do it. You know, it's, it's, it's rare. It's rare. I get like one goal maybe in a game. It's Via. It's Via. <sighs> Kept out by the keeper. Uh, I don't think it's going to go. This could be going out of Europe at this rate as well, guys. As well as the cup. Yeah, you know I mean that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? I mean, honestly, we haven't really taken this competition seriously this season, so you know. But still, this is it's a it's sort of a team on paper we should sort of be beating, but we're not. Um, I'm more bothered about the league. We, uh, to be honest, right? We, I've just checked the, the um, our league position, and we are actually back up into first after that win earlier in the episode. So, <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd rather us be playing in the Champions League as well. But uh, this is, uh, you know, Europa. I don't take Europa League too seriously, honestly. Oh my God! If that had gone in. <laughs> No, I don't think we're going to get this away goal today, and that's really bad. Because we didn't get away goals in the cup, did we? Last time, no. And we got knocked out, because we're crap. <sighs> Here's Matter. The manager's down below me, urging them forward. Here's Ed Milsett. What are you doing, Ed Milsett? So I was, you know what? Should have just crossed it. You know what? Probably had more chance of crossing it. That's the right ball to play, too. Into the box. It's Martins. Ed Milson. I think it's going to be a corner. Oh, apparently it's a goal kick. Wow, that really sums up our uh, our match here today. Wow, thanks, game. That was awful yet again. Got to take it more seriously in the second leg. Well, scary thing about this game is that Sevilla now have Rubinho since acquiring him from Real Madrid. And they're going to be playing him up front. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, come on. We, we, gotta, we just got to do it. We've we got to do this. Come on. We need, we need something here. There he is. Canute and Rubinho up front. Uh, that, that is worrying me, honestly. It is definitely worrying me. Um, so I said, I f I'm thinking about like changing it up at the back and maybe putting four or putting a defensive midfielder there. Well, we tried that before and it didn't really work. I don't really want to change it. But I keep thinking about I don't know if it's... To be honest, you know what? I don't even think it's really going to do anything. Because our problem is, is we're letting too many men through at the back. And then we're conceding goals from it. Oh, header there by Bodmer. Um, but even, even so, putting an extra man there, it, it's probably not really going to make too much difference because... You know, they're pro you know, we've just got to be better at marking the men and making sure they don't get through. Do you know what I mean? I think that's just mostly the problem. But I guess we'll see. We'll guess we'll we'll see. So here's Navas into the box there. Get the ball away from Rubinho at all costs today. Swear to God, man! I swear to God. Uh, you know what? We might have been. You know what? If we had the money, we could have bought Rubinho. Really, couldn't we? Oh well. Um, so yeah, Schmeichel only had like that one shot. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that was like the only shot he had to save in that last game. Um, that well, well, that he had to try. Well, skill there, skills. He had to try and save it, and um, no, we conceded. So yeah, it doesn't look like Schmeichel's any better off than Kenazar is at this point. <laughs> so it's uh, it's not looking good. It is not looking good in that uh, regard. And that is a shot there that is going to go through. Martin still seeking a first goal. Uh, dear God, dear God, indeed. Here's Canute. Robinho. Made a good tackle there. So 
That's going to go out and play it. Come on, we just need a win, man. Come on, we just need a win. A win to do. Just a hand out to the opposition. David Villa. Looking a bit longer with that pass. Delivered into the box. Does head the ball well, doesn't he? Oh, that was a pretty decent shot there. So we beat them 1-0, wasn't it, last time? And uh, they, they they were like, what were they, second severe earlier in the season? Then they went down to like seventh, but they're back up now. Um, so, yeah, but we've actually, we was first after winning that, that first game of the episode. We've actually dropped back down to second now, so we need a result here. Let's try and get us back on top if possible. Here's Navas. Uh, oh, this is not good. <sighs> Gave him a lot of space to work with there. Here's Bill. Marchena to Silva. Here's Lennon. Taking off the ball. Our throw in. I don't know why. Why is Marchena taking the throw in there? I don't, I don't even understand that. Why? Why? Would he be taking the throw in there? I think Pity's playing this one. You have him taking it, wouldn't you? And Lennon didn't keep his run there. Great. Robinho. Now Hinkle. Asus Navas. Sevilla were really close to the title last season. Just pipped to it by Real Madrid. Real Madrid are like fighting relegation. Oh my god, seriously. Get it together. At the back. What? I can't understand what is just happening to us at the back. I really don't. We are so dodgy at the back all of a sudden. It's unreal. I really do think we should change. I think, I think it, we, we might be better off changing it. So we've got more players back. It's ridiculous, this. Goalkeeper missed that one. Why, why is he taking it again? Seriously, why is he taking it? There is no reason for him to be taking that throw in there. There really isn't. Mar Marchena is meant to be our freaking centre-back. we got our centre-backs taking frigging throw-ins like three quarters of the way up the field. Look, and now they're on the attack because he's not in position. What the hell? Why is he taking our throw-ins? Can anybody explain that? What the hell? He should not be taking it. Should be whoever's closest to the ball on that side should just take it. That's just that's just asking for trouble. That's just going to leave us open. I don't understand that. I don't think there's any way to change that. And that's off target. My God, I just so many things to complain about. Robinho's number freaking two. I mean, God, that's not even a number he should have. And now it's half time, so that was a totally pointless kick. Shit, dear God, man, dear God, the complaints are high to do. The rear, the rear, the rage is certainly back. The season one rage has come back. Well, to win again, certainly has. Here's Rabit. Look at him. He's just going to try and dance through everybody and get through. No, seriously? I don't freaking believe it. Give us a break. Seriously, man. Can't believe that. We got the ball away and then it's just ended up to Navas. And what is Canazares doing, for God's sake? What kind of a dive was that? That was pathetic, honestly. That was so bad. Oh my god, I cannot believe, I just don't know what's happened. We have gone back to being terrible. Oh, that was a good save, that. Silva, put something on this. Come on, Silva, you're naughty rated now. You've got to show that naughty rated mentality. 
You know, not many players get to be naughty rated, man. Not these days. Not even back then. So we need two goals to do anything about this now. Is Martins the so difficult to get the ball off him? It in. That was terrible, Martins. Come on. this time then. Moresca. Now Baraka. Yes, come on, please, Lennon, please. You've got to finish it. That's got to be a re... <laughs> Double save. Out the ass. How the hell? That was a dead setting goal. You bet your house on him to score that. Oh, my God. That should have been 1-1, one -one, honestly. And offside. Now we're just getting in the way of each other's shots, you know, that's fine. You know? <laughs> God damn. He's beaten his man. Loses the ball. David Villa. Thinks he can score. Ooh, close. Or two over the bar. No, I don't have an answer. The only thing I can think of is if we just change something around. Because, um, I don't know, because even going forward, I mean, now. we were doing all right. And we get goals now and then, not all the time, obviously, nice. but it's just something has got to change in this team. Free kick there. I don't know if there's going to be a card shown for that. Well, I didn't think there was anything red wavy there, but let's have a look at it again. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I thought maybe. Oh, come on, we're against ten freaking men now, and we're still probably going to lose. That's what annoys me so much. <laughs> it just does. Yes, run, Martins, run, go. Go, ah, oh, for God's sake, Martins, honestly. You really are, you really are no good. That's offside. Seriously, Martins is useless. You know what? We're better off putting Pity back there in that position because Martins just has made no impact so far since signing. <laughs> oh, God. I thought it would be better than this. Good technique with the head. Bob Bear. He either gets, he either gets offside, or he just gets offside, <laughs> pretty much. And we've given away a free kick here. Great. So, if this goes in, we're doomed. The problem now is we've got to get the ball up the field. What? What even happened? What? I swear to God, the referee is making up bullshit here. What even happened there? I'm just going to take a quick free kick here. 
Silva. Villa. Fear. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I really don't know what we're doing here. It's Bodders. It's Villa. Come on, guys. Need something to happen here. Oh, crap. No, we had the possession for so long, and that's game over. I don't believe it. What a terrible episode. Charity auction. You have been invited to appear at a charity fundraiser put on by the Valencia Official Fan Club. The event is centered around the benefit concert and auction, all to raise money for a worthwhile cause. Uh, accept the invitation. Have substitutes and reverts provided. Reserves provide signed jerseys for the auction. Decline, but uh, suggest that the fan club invite some of your more disgruntled players to the party. Accept the invitation. Insist on bringing a personally autographed blazer. Yeah, whatever. Let's go for that. Let's go for that, man. So demand a win against Real Madrid. Yeah, <laughs> like that's going to happen. Uh, Joaquin is back, so that's a positive. And uh, the fans were happy to have the chance to chat with you during the charity auction. Despite working with the crowds, despite working with the crowds with skill, you were surprised to see your signed blazer go for such a pathetic price. <laughs> oh dear, uh, fan support plus four. The cat complain with the fan support, I suppose. Damn, my blazer's not good. So uh, this is the league table. That was our game in hand, that. That was a chance to go ahead of Barca by a couple of points. Oh dear, we have not done it though. But, I mean, we're still up there. We're still competing. We're only a point behind. Um, I mean, the bad thing is really, look at how many draws we've had. We've had nine draws. Imagine if we turned those draws into wins. That's a that's an extra like what eighteen points right there, you know, from those nine games. You know, like we could have been so far ahead in the league if we just uh, turned them into wins. It's unbelievable, honestly. It really, really is. But there you go. You can't do anything about it. Real Madrid are still seventeenth there. They're having the season we had last season, aren't they? Uh, 24 points from 22 games so yeah well in the uh, next episode we have got the second leg against Messina we need to score in that at least once to take it to extra time hopefully not penalties but you know um, to be honest I'd probably take penalties at this point we need some luck we need some, some sort of luck if we could win it that way but uh, we've got the big game against Madrid obviously that's going to be the full live game and then we've possibly got if we do get through the uh, third round first leg there um, in Europe or it's going to be uh, Zaragoza so this game right here will decide what happens next time but yeah that is it for today guys please do comment, subscribe and share as always really bad today um, the positive is we're still up there in the league so I don't know. I don't know. We we just we need to start defending better and we need to start taking more chances at fronting and finding ways through. We we just seem to have not been able to do that lately. It's just it's all it's like what we 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 know how to do is just left us. We've it's just gone away and we have to refind it again or something. I just don't know. So join us next time. See you guys then.